Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I'm playing along with the January sketch from For the Love of Pretty Paper and I'm using the Jen Hadfield Stardust collection that I got from Go Go Shop Away. Um, so um, yeah, I have got, um, I've pulled out this really, really pretty um, star paper. It's a black paper, which is a bit unusual for Jen Hadfield um, uh, and uh, her whole Stardust collection is a bit unusual for her, I think. It's it's really, really lovely. I love it. Um, and uh, it's got lots of bright colours in it, which um, she's normally more muted, whereas um, this one is quite bright. So, But anyway, this one is black, so that's very different. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so there's a black background and it has multicoloured stars all over it. It has different style stars as well. So some are normal five-point stars, some are more like diamonds. There are some little dots on there as well. So it's really, really super pretty kind of galaxy style paper. So I really wanted to feature a big portion of it um, on the layout, but I always feel that um, whenever I'm using a pattern paper background, I'm I best off grounding it a bit with a border of some description. Um, so I actually went for a black border, again, quite dark and a bit unusual um, for me anyway. Um, so, um, but anyway, I love how this turned out. Um, I really love the look um, of that black star paper on the black background as well. Um, the plainness around the outside gives the star print in the middle space to breathe. So I'm, I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, off camera, I go and stitch around the outside edges as well. And I do it three times um, with a black thread uh, just on the machine. I'll do that a bit later. Um, but um, for now, I'm going to try and work out what I'm going to do with my um, photos and my stars. Now, I've, uh, um, whether I'm going to do stars or not. So basically, um, the sketch has got stars on it, but the st sketch doesn't need, sorry, sketches are a starting point. So they don't, you don't have to use stars um, where there are stars on the sketch. The stars just represent embellishments. Um, but um, yeah, I wasn't, but actually I love stars and because I have stars in the background, I thought that stars would be ideal. Um, so I went and used that stripy paper to cut a number of stars and I've used, cut some different sized ones. And by the way, that stripy paper has some wide stripes and some more narrow stripes. So I could only get some colors in smaller stars, if that makes sense. So I cut a few um, from all the different colors and then um, I just used metal dies to cut them and then I scored each one. So I did this off camera, um, but I scored each one from each point directly down. Um, and I did that from so each point. So that's five score lines per star. And then they you fold them all and then they pop up in the middle. So you, you end up with a dimensional star um, instead, um, which is um, uh, always really lovely. Um, I think because they have say extra dimension now and how do you stick these down lots of people ask me how on earth I get these stuck down and quite often I end up putting a foam pad on every point um, and then I stick them down in that way so rather than trying to build up your foam pads to go up inside the dome in the middle um, I don't do that I put a foam pad on each corner instead um, so it could, does mean that they could squash and sink but um, you could also put some padding in the middle of the stars as well to help with that um, okay, so I am I'm currently just mounting my photos onto some journaling cards um, and distressing the edges. So the photos are of my little boy um, on his fourth birthday um, and he has got the best cake in the world. And I can say that because I didn't make it. Um, it was, uh, we were actually on holiday um, in Anzarote and um, I, uh, I can't, I can make cakes at home, I'm not great at them, but I can make them. Um, but you know, I don't have the equipment and the things that I would need over there. So um, I um, went to a local cake maker um, and uh, she made this fantastic, amazing, um, best cake in the world for a four year old anyway. Um, it was a drip, vanilla drip cake with loads and loads of chocolate on top. Honestly, you should see his face. You can't see his face brilliantly in these photos right now because I've got a bit of a glare on them from my lights. Um, but uh, if you have a look in the close-ups later, his face is an absolute picture and he's just so happy and delighted with this cake, uh, which I think is like literally his dream come true. Um, cake is his favorite thing to eat and uh, for it to be piled up high with chocolates and biscuits, he was just absolutely delighted with it. Um, so that's what the photos are. So it's a birthday celebration. Um, and uh, I'm going for all the colourful stars. Um, I'm going to stick all of those down in um, a big kind of cluster on the left-hand side. 
Um, I have added a cluster of embellishments up on the top right of the photos as well. So I'm added, I've added some balloons. Obviously that works really well because it's a um, birthday layout. Um, so um, it's good to have um, balloons on a birthday layout, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, just um, getting all of those stars stuck down now, which takes a little while. Um, but uh, definitely worth it. They are, um, I love them when they're complete. Them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I have um, got everything stuck in place now, including um, the title. Um, so I found a little banner that says today was amazing. And then I've added for today using those fabulous glittery thickers from the Stardust collection. They're on pink foam, even better. Um, and all my stars are stuck in place. And at the top right where my, um, where my uh, cluster is, I've added a um, rosette, a colorful rosette behind the top corner of the photo. Um, and then I'm just adding some other bits and pieces. I've got another little folded star up there as well, just a small green one. Um, and um, that that the tiny ones, um, it was very it would be very difficult to score them. So what I just do is I just pinch all the corners, and that gives them that kind of dimension without perfect score lines, but it still works well. Um, and um, I wanted to add um, the tabs around the layout. Now there's one at the very top on the sketch. So that was where I got the idea from. So I added that in, it says sunshine and smiles. Um, and then I thought I would add some more as well around the sides of the layout. So I've got today was amazing and I've got charming. Um, so that all works well. Uh, and I'm just gonna continue to add little bits and pieces. Um, I like to have a range of different size embellishments. So I've gone for um, lots of different smaller stars around the big star cluster. And I'm now just adding lots of little tiny stars from the um, enamel shapes. Um, they are really cute, by the way. Lovely little pack there. Um, and um, yeah, just getting everything stuck down over on the right hand side um, as well. I've added some sunglasses that say stay cool. That works well because we were on holiday. I've got a rainbow in place as well. Um, and then I've just found a balloon and the balloon obviously works really well because um, uh, because it's his birthday. So, <laughs> so I've just stuck that in place as well. Um, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's all looking. I'd say that I'm pretty much nearly finished at this point. Um, so I'm I want to add some journaling, but it's going to be a bit tricky. There's nowhere really to write. So I've grabbed a silver pen and I'm going to attempt to write over the top of the star print. And actually, it's not bad. Um, in person, you can definitely read it. You probably won't be able to read it on screen. But um, um, and I thought I would help that out by adding some lines underneath it. Um, that makes it stand out a little bit better and makes it more obvious that there is something there. Um, and then I wanted to add the date as well. So I've just written that with my gray journaling pen onto one of the stars. It's in very small writing, but um, it is on there. So at least I know what year this was, although it's pretty obvious to work out because of when he was born and when his birth is and when he, it says four today on the layout. So um, date probably wasn't overly important. Um, okay, so I'm just adding some silver paint splatters now um, over this big star cluster. And then I'm gonna add some top right as well. Um, and then um, that is that layout pretty much complete, except for the fact that um, I wanted to add some Bramble Fox embellishments, um, but um, I have add, tried to add them before my paint, sorry, I, my paint, I forgot to add them before I did my paint splatters. <laughs> so therefore um, I had to go back and add them later when my um, paint was dry. So I've got some of these lovely um, turquoise triangles and I've got some stars as well. Um, so I'm just um, getting all of those um, added in. So I've got a few triangles that I'm just arranging in different patterns um, and then adding the stars as well. I've got one white star and then I've got some other ones, um, some turquoise ones and a silver one, I think. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is the layout complete. Um, so I really hope that you enjoying this layout come together and enjoyed using the sketch. I certainly did. I love a sketch. So thank you very much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland using the For the Love of Pretty Paper sketch.